evening on this Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. Christ is born. Even if he wasn't born today, exactly, specifically this day, he was born and we recognize this day as his birth and observant and cheers to that. We will recognize it as an observant anyway. So let's cheers to this day of observant of the day of our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yes, I just wanted to come on and tell you, I wasn't expecting much as in, quote, gifts, but I got this really special little gift from my sister, and I'm trying it on, so I'm hoping that the camera looks a lot better, and it does. <laughs> she did me a big favor. The quality looks so much better, by the way, and... I just want to say thank you to those that support me in the background and also support me here. And this is just unique for me because I don't get a chance to have some downtime. And this is one of those days, it's like I'm just glad it's over because um, it's like that, you know, um, it's more about kids, if anything. and. Money's tight, and we just want to get everybody happy and get whatever we need and not always what we want. But the most important thing that I got was my nephew said something. He said, Jesus is the reason we're here to get together as a family. And I was like, well, wait a second. You must be reading the Bible. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I think... The lessons that I taught him when he was a little boy have really made a difference. And that means blogging is making a difference because I'm sure I'm getting through to somebody or maybe more than just somebody, maybe more than more than just what I think. And I try to be consistent and I'm going to try to maintain that. But this is a Merry Christmas because it's um, the day that we recognize Jesus' birth in Bethlehem and we can tell you story after story about what every year brings us joy, peace, tranquility, especially at night after all the gifts have been unwrapped and all the chaos uh, when we see the seven and eight year olds run around with their new bikes and their new stuff and oh my gosh, I'm like... We got through another Christmas, you know, so I got one this in a, a raffle. <laughs> My Christmas was really kind of strange, but I'm not worried about Christmas gifts as much as I'm happy that everybody got what they needed. But seeing my niece with a new bike was really kind of fun to watch. And um, my other niece got a notebook. Um, computer, gamer, um, they got some expensive things, put it that way, but I got some simple things, and I got some things to help my computer work better, so, you know, those things really matter a lot, so it'll be a lot easier to operate my computer, and that's really a blessing. Now, I'm going back to school and I'm going to have a better system. I think eventually my computer will be upgraded. So I'm looking forward to going back to school with a new computer. And I'll still be blogging, just not as much as I usually do because of school. But 2024 will be different. I'm hoping that Jesus comes. I'm... I, I was kind of hesitant about going back to school because I was counting on the Lord coming before that point, but I still remember the saying in the scripture that we are to occupy till the Lord comes. So we are to occupy and remember, stay vigilant, and 
even during Christmas, like this is the time to just keep yourself grounded in the word. And something about coming home tonight after a long day with being fam being with family, I I really think that what grounded me the most was like just coming home and just un like undoing everything, the undoing. It's like taking off all this fleshly stuff, like the eating, the the food, and the everything that we do throughout the day, and just taking this outer skin out, off, all the fleshly things that we take part in, and just getting right with Jesus again, and just being one closer, one step closer to the Lord, and it reminds me of that place that you want to be centered in the Lord. So being centered in the Lord means sometimes blogging, talking about the Lord, encouraging each other. It, it could be a bunch of different things, but I just want to be centered on the Lord. It's, it doesn't have to be about Merry Christmas all the time either on a day like today. It just means just being centered again and centered on what helps us focus again on what's important and I think a day like today focus, helps us focus on what's important and that being Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening and cheers to this day as we approach the new year and I look forward to seeing the Lord soon enough. I pray that he come quickly like he said he would. We shall see as we watch again and like he said, stand up and look up for your redemption draw down. Praise the Lord.